better in, better out in cardiac surgery. An increasing number of elderly people are undergoing cardiac surgery. However, more than one third experience delirium, depression, pressure ulcers or infection after the operation. To reduce the risk of complications, the patient should prepare himself or herself in the period before the hospital admission. The nurse plays an important role in this preparation. Once cardiac surgery is indicated, the patient consults the nurse. This consult consists of three parts. In the first part, the nurse informs the patient about the procedure in the hospital. The procedure in the hospital what the patient will experience and what the patient and the family can and should do. Cardiac surgery requires a considerable amount of energy and that the patient should eat well and even follow an energy-rich diet in advance. During the admission period, daily visits from loved ones support the recovery of the patient. Proper pain treatment is needed for recovery. The nurse emphasizes that the patient should ask for painkillers if necessary. In the second part of the interview, for each complication, the nurse checks whether the patient has an elevated risk. This is performed on the basis of four short score lists. One example of a risk factor for delirium is the use of a walking stick for a walker. In the third part of the interview, the nurse presents preventative measures. For all complications, the patient and the family are asked to really focus on the early signs of the possible development of these complications. Other preventative measures are discussed with the patient. The risk of complications can be reduced. The interview is therefore the first step in getting prepared for a successful hospital stay.